doing? We out here, chilling on the spot. What up? What up? Hey, what's going on, y'all? Brothers Breaking Bread Podcast in the house. Hey, okay, we'll have a little pop up. Yeah, let's make it happen. Let's not just talk about it. This is a beautiful thing, man. It's all this blackness, and we all just getting together. We playing dominoes, we eating, we drinking. And you know, food is always just the, the extra, man. They deprive these people of their basic human rights. You know, and we call ourselves Americans. We're supposed to be above all this. They'll fake the crisis. They'll make it seem way out of proportion. We brothers, we breaking bread. How y'all doing? We out here chilling in the spot. What up? Trying to hold it all together, man. Life is moving fast right now. Man, so it's good to have everybody come through. I love that, man. I love it a lot. More than I could, I could, I could, I could say to you guys. Finally tonight here, America Strong, an American pioneer who for so long was a hidden figure at NASA. Katherine Johnson was from West Virginia. She was a mathematician, a pioneer, part of a small group of African-American women hired as mathematicians at NASA. Breaking gender barriers, racial barriers in the 50s and 60s, she worked on the first U.S. manned space flights. We have a lift Calculating the precise trajectories that would allow Apollo 11 to land on the moon. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Her role was long overlooked. Catherine on the far right, her daughter would hear the stories. Mama got there at 53. The engineers came and asked for some specific skills. The supervisor said, oh, well, that's Catherine. And what was her role? The work was to take a Monroe or a Freedom calculator and do the big equations, which could be a page long. Math is always dependable. Johnson's role portrayed in the film Hidden Figures. You have someone? Yes, ma'am. Catherine's the gal for that. She can handle any numbers you put in front of her. She would own her role. We can calculate launch and landing, but without this conversion, the capsule stays in orbit. We can't bring it back home. You'll remember the movie was nominated for Best Picture. A true NASA and American hero, Katherine Johnson. She was also awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom, the nation's highest civilian honor. And when her daughter asked all those years later, what if someone questioned you? What happened if somebody questioned your work? Tough. Tough. And so was she, a true American pioneer. Katherine Johnson was 101 and an American original. I'm David Muir. Good night. Hey, 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 what's going on, everybody? Triple B Podcast in the house. Brothers Breaking Bread, we back at you on the beautiful, well, I don't know if it's beautiful in um, where you at in Houston. I mean, Austin, I'm pretty sure it is uh, 10 meters, but it's beautiful here in Kansas City. 60 degrees. Wind blowing a little bit. Babies are sleeping. Big kids upstairs with Ida. It's all good. We in the house, 10 meters. Joe Jeff. Joe Jeff is uh, currently um, trying to silence his inner fat boy. Uh, <laughs> so he's on mute right now. <laughs> but he'll be, he'll be joining us once he, once he accomplishes the mission. So what's going on, fam? Oh, man. Ain't nothing, man. I'm chilling out here. Actually, it is ugly out here. It is 70 and cloudy. But uh, down here in Austin, though, dog, it ain't bad. I mean, it was just thirty but, degrees in this bitch like three days ago. That's how crazy it's been up here. <laughs> I bet it was, man. Yeah. Shoot. Yeah, yeah, but um, uh, we started the show with uh Katherine Johnson, uh, a great American, a great African American uh, pioneer. Uh, as you saw, heard and report, very crucial in some of those uh first uh, moon landings. Um. Mm-hmm. And it's crazy, dog, because we, I, I'm sure you didn't. I'm, I'm not, a, no. I'm, not, I'm not big into astrophysics, so there goes that. But as far as just like pioneer, you hear about 
all these great white men who played a role right. in getting us to the moon and mm-hmm. building what we now know as NASA, making it something that we give our tax dollars to and all this shit. But mm-hmm. I did not know about Katherine Johnson until that movie Hidden Figures came out. I didn't know who she was. Yeah, you're absolutely right, man, because uh, we did not even know that this even existed. Uh, right. Back in, you know, basically. I didn't know they, I didn't uh, know they civil... allowed niggas into the NASA building. Right. Back then, dog. Right. <laughs> right. Let alone, right. Let exactly. alone let them grab the white man's chalk and put up the white man's <laughs> math. Well, I guess mathematics, Egypt, somewhere. So, so, but you know what I'm saying. Put up, put right. up, the, put up that math on the board. I was like, huh? That was a thing? Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. crazy. I mean, there's a lot of, and there's a lot of, like, different types of inventions and mm-hmm. things that you don't really necessarily hear about that uh, either black people had a hand in it or they actually um, invented it, you know, and put things together. And But, you, you know, just like the movie's title, man, we were the hidden figures behind a lot of American... Um, a lot of the not American, just American around the world, of, dog, around the fucking world. I mean, but I, I get we're talking about America, where we're at, the USA, USA. You, you know, but just around the world, you know, when you dig deeper, you find like people of color who were the ones who either found or were the first ones to do a thing, but kind of mm-hmm. that gets washed away because it's all about Western, otherwise, aka known as white history. That's what leads the forefront. That's what drives it. And we can't have this. We can't continue this uh, system of believing that black people are inferior to if they're the, the first ones to do a thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's right. Crazy. So uh, that's why I always refer to as his story. Wow. Meaning deep. white people's story. Hey, hold on, hold on. White people's story. <laughs> deep brother. Deep, deep, deep. Nah, man. But yeah. I remember when this movie first came out because it also came out when. Um, what was that fences came out and niggas? Oh yeah, yeah niggas yeah, yeah. was fucking them movies up. They was calling it hidden fences. Uh, <laughs> we we was calling them hidden fences, bro. Yeah, we, we did it. We smashed the fuck out. Hey, like, yeah, like you, you said, you said niggas. We, we niggas. And we, <laughs> we niggas. We, we call it hidden fences. Yes, <laughs> yes, niggas was fucking it up. We is niggas. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> Welcome. I, I'm, 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 I'm judging by the tone. Mission accomplished. Banner to be put up. You, you have gathered what you needed, good, good sir. Yeah. I am, I am consuming my food from my inner fat child mm. as we speak. So, All right. Let's comfort him. Yeah. Comfort him. Comfort him or her or whatever. Mm-hmm. Them, mm-hmm. they, he, whatever pronoun we choose. Got, but, uh, got these uh, super greens though, so I, I try to keep it mildly healthy. I feel you. Uh, Super greens. Yeah, we got the kale. Yeah, we got from, the baby uh, spinach. Got the, yeah, all that. All that up in the uh, in the Panda Express. You know what I'm saying? So okay, oh, okay, okay. But, cool. but on a very yeah. sad note, though, about this, uh, it just reading that she got that Presidential Medal of Freedom and knowing that that fat racist fuck uh, Rush Limbaugh now shares that same medal. Mm. Uh. Mm. Well, they did about the same thing, didn't they? Huh? They did about the same thing, didn't they? I, I mean, yeah. I mean, I mean, one one helped us calculate the uh, the launch angles to uh, yeah. achieve a national objective of of landing a man on the moon, and the other one spread racist propaganda. I mean, that's that's for one, isn't it? I mean, yeah, 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 technically, though, yeah, if you think about that's, it, though, about they one, both yeah. help that's further the right. accomplishments of white men. Yes. <laughs> right. I don't know. Yeah, I, <laughs> one of the major accomplishments of white men are yeah. is taking all that shit that black men invented and used and and black, black people. Black and, people. And we, we are we are all inclusive podcast here, brother. Black people. Way. black people. Black people. Black people. Ash, <laughs> well, any people of color. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, people, yeah. You know, any minority. No, but yeah, but but um, she just passed uh, here February twenty fourth. Uh, and man, and, and when you say black don't crack, man, she did not look like a hundred and one year old woman. You know what I'm saying? No. She, I mean, she looked old. Don't get me wrong. That's what happened when you look a hundred and one year old. But she looked great to be a hundred and one. You know, and when, when she got that, they brought her out 2018. So what, ninety something? So yeah, I mean, she looked great. She looked great. Yeah. yeah. So hopefully she's in so. a better place. You know, and thank you, uh, Miss Johnson, uh, for all you did to further the greatness of America and make this the world's greatest empire. 
Rest in, rest in power, Mr. God Johnson. bless America and nowhere else, nigga. <laughs> Damn. Anyway. That, that seemed like the appropriate place for that, too. It did. Well, it, it did. Right. It did. It did. It did. <laughs> I'm looking through her accomplishments, man. She is, uh, man, yeah, that's nice. She's good, good stuff. I'll go back and look later. Anyway, I'm anyway, moving right along. Uh, anyway, anything to add, Joe, on the check in? You all good? He must got some um, healthy greens in his mouth. Mm-hmm. He's still stumped. He don't. He's like, oh, oh shit, I don't know. <laughs> Is he washing his hands in a tunnel? Nah, nigga, I'm not you. I'm not you. No, I'm not you. <laughs> I mean, I'm you watch, I, ain't, well, I, ain't, I ain't going to the restroom in the middle of the podcast. Well, if you're washing your hands, you are not him. You are correct. <laughs> you, 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 <laughs> fuck you, man. <laughs> you, hey, hey, you are correct, hey, sir. Hey, 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 take a minute uh, to meet us and prevent coronavirus from spreading, bro. Wash your hands. Now, wash your hands, dog. <laughs> Nigga's is mine. My sister, yeah, my sister hit me up. Do these masks really work? I'm like, I don't think they do, but let me tell you what does work. <laughs> washing your hands. Are you washing your hands? Wash your kids' hands. Wash your right. husband's hands. If you got people come over your house, make sure they wash their hands. Before they even come in your house, man, just yeah. take the holes from the thing, put some soap by it, some soft soap by it, and just tell me. You said some holes. Take the holes. What? Yeah, yeah, take the whole, yeah, not holes, the water hole. I hear slut. I hear slut shaming. He ain't not slut. I like this thing. This thing out here spraying motherfuckers down the front yard. Nigga, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Oh, man. this nigga, he, he, he talking about like out, uh, man, you spray asses down. <laughs> you talking about what's that? What's that damn uh, movie? Uh, not Kill Bill, but uh, Pulp Fiction. You spray them niggas down it's the backyard. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Y'all get it, man. Get it. Mm-hmm. Get in there. All right, man. I'm, I'm, sure, be- I'm sure you've been to county, gentlemen. Here it comes. <laughs> well, drop down. Spread your cheeks. Right. Oh, uh, shit. Speaking of, uh, we, we, we kind of mentioned uh, Russian Limbaugh. Speaking of white men, it ain't shit. Hey, uh, man, yeah. shout out to the House finally passing this uh, this uh, lynching federal hate crime bill. Um, And you would think, you know. Lynching's bad, right? You don't want nobody to get lynched. You would think that it'd be a unanimous vote, wouldn't you, fellas? Well, yeah. I mean, shit. Lynching's been bad for 150 some odd years. Yeah, you would think. You, you would think but, that. I mean, 200 years have been bad, but I mean, shit. We passed a anti-lynching bill in 2020. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. <laughs> not a law, by the way. It ain't been signed yet. It's just a bill. It's just still a yeah. It's still a bill. It's not okay. a law. Yeah, it's not still, a law must, yet, my so. bad. My bad. They passed the bill. <laughs> so. In the house, there were four motherfuckers who I guess like lynching. Yeah, I guess. Oh shit! And not, the, don't it, don't do that, man. They don't. It's not they like lynching. They like their liberty. Hey, oh my bad. Yeah, but, that, but that, see, that, do that y'all see the states that they represent though? You, you on that heritage not hate shit, Joe? <laughs> yeah, man. It's heritage not hate, man. I'm just trying to tell you, we don't we don't want to be. Too much big government, man. Big government, they overreaching. Too much big government. Yeah, overreaching, overstepping. Now, yep. if I am to just hang a nigger, you know that is that is just me expressing my American right. My right. I, I, I was only listening to your president, Rush Limbaugh. Re- yeah. President. Yep. Hey, so let's read this. So, historic legis- legislation hey man, that hey would man, make. I need, I need to probably calm down because I'm over here in Trump country. Yeah, dog. No, we don't about to uh, and, I, and, I and I just rolled the windows <laughs> down. Did oh, I just, you better roll them up. Back did up. I just hear? Did I just hear a fucking dueling banjo in the Put background? <laughs> and deliverance, man. You sure hey, got a, we you got a pretty, the next episode, Joe. You got a pretty <laughs> mouth, boy. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> Are uh, you the big fella? Shit. Uh, you is, biggin'. Is there is there not a, a a motherfucker with a beer belly walking around in overalls without a shirt, nigga? That's that's when you know right. you are officially f- fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> oh Indeed. shit. So historic legislation that would would make lynching a federal hate crime pass the House by near unanimous consent Wednesday with four representatives opposing it. Three Republicans voted against the measure. GOP members Ted Yoho of Florida, Louis uh, Gomert of Texas, Thomas Massey of Kentucky, 
The chamber's lone independent, Justin Amash of Michigan, who famously switched from Republican to independent over his support for impeaching President Donald Trump, also voted, voted no. Mm. Republicans accused the legislation of being an overreach by the federal government and encroaching on states' rights to set races right. free. I don't know the legislation if enacted. That's, was, that's the same. You know what? That's the same thing they said about the Civil War. Yeah. Right. Yep. Yeah, state rights, baby. That's the same thing they said about the Civil War. Same man. Yeah. fucking thing. No, this ain't about slavery. This is about states' rights. Oh, right. really? Tell me more. Yeah. That's the rights to have slavery, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. The Constitution specifies only a handful of federal crimes and leaves the rest of individual states to prosecute, Macy told Newsweek in a statement. In addition, this bill expands current federal hate crime laws. A crime is a crime, and all victims deserve equal justice. Adding enhanced penalties for hate tends to endanger other liberties, such as freedom. That don't even make sense, dog. He should have chuckled when he said this shit. Like, did I just say that? <laughs> <laughs> like, what, what is the other freedom? What is the other freedom? Yeah, that is endangering, my amendment. friend. Hey, I guess it's the freedom of the right. to be. Yeah, freedom of speech. Yeah. Freedom of press. Yeah. Freedom of religion. Yeah. Freedom of assembly. Freedom of petition. Freedom of hate. You ain't heard that? Freedom of hate. Yes. Freedom of hate. White and power. freedom to be lynched. Is White power. Mean? Right. Right next to my Second Amendment rights. White power. Yeah. Yeah. This is crazy, dog. This is crazy. Uh. Yeah. Right. Ha. <laughs> Oh shit! I was gonna pull. I was gonna try. It's too, too. Try, I was gonna try to pull up that uh, fucking um, Dave Chappelle uh, mm. black <laughs> black Klansman. Why, <White> power? <laughs> Condoleezza Rice <laughs> sounds like a Mexican dish to me. I say white power. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, but it, it's crazy. Uh huh. It is. Hold on, dog. Hold on. Hold on. So I, I can't. Uh, Gomer said on the House floor he would prefer to prefer that states penalize the guilty party for lynching so they can face capital punishment. I would much rather if someone is lynched in Texas, they be subject, subject under Texas law to the death penalty, he said. But, but does, don't we have a federal death penalty? <laughs> do we? I think I we know. do. I don't know if we do. That's a good question. I don't know. But I think hey. as I read, I think I read through that article, the bill, um, I don't think death penalty was part of it. I think, you know, there's a certain amount of years, and I don't think it was like a extremely large right. amount. Right, right. Oh. But, um. Like 10 to 20? <laughs> yeah, somewhere near. Somewhere hmm. near. I want to stay out on the shallow end of that pool. No, oh, okay. Um, hmm. But, um. Five to ten with good beha- with time off for good behavior. There you go. Something like, something like that. Something like that. Hmm. But, I mean, I, I put it. I think we, we, there was a video, and we might have even played it before, mm-hmm. uh, of AOC, uh, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, talking about the uh, discrepancy between, she, I guess she was talking to uh, the director of the FBI, I maybe mean, not director, but like somebody way up in the FBI, I believe it was, mm-hmm. in a hearing, and, and basically asked, um, why is it that we would designate certain people with federal crimes um, and, and tied into a terrorist organization and say that is, uh, you know, saying, uh, for instance, the Pulse nightclub shooting, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Um, I'm trying to remember another one. What was that, out in San Bernardino or something like that, out in California? Oh, uh, the, the, the Jewish uh, community? Was it a Jewish yeah. center? Oh, Jew- oh, that, one, that, that one too, that one too, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure if it was a Jewish community center. I don't remember what it was. I just, I just remember it was connected to um, It was either a, like a, a, jihadist, either a, a, a mosque or a fucking something. I can't remember. I don't know about Yeah. So what I'm saying is when it is a Muslim person doing it, the FBI had been quick to, mm-hmm. uh, you know, put in measures that said, okay, this is this is a terrorist issue. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But when it's when it's a situation such as uh, South Carolina, Dylan Roof, you yep. know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Or it's a situation like, um, you know, down El Paso, right? You know, they went into, the, you know, what I'm saying Walmart. Right. Yeah. They so, don't call that okay. domestic terrorism. They so they call that those other things domestic terrorism. They didn't designate the the ones where it's a white shooter mm-hmm. engaged in white supremacy as a domestic terrorism event. And so what the director said was we don't have statutes 
to 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 quant you know to put that under a, a particular crime you know what I'm saying on on the right. federal level okay so I think I would imagine this would probably rectify that problem saying okay if you're involved in doing something that is okay, obviously race based obviously bit? hate based uh -huh. they can not just charge you as okay you committed a crime but you committed a hate crime you know what right. I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, you 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 violated the anti lynching protocol. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Right. Right. And so I I don't know if this would add to that or whatever, but I know that it's was an issue that was being brought in front of the halls of Congress. So. And to answer yeah. the question, uh, capital punishment is a legal penalty in the United States currently used by 29 states, the federal government, and the military. Its existence can be yeah. Can, so yeah, that answers the question. So yes, federal you can you can be you can be sentenced to death. Yeah, and for real. Yeah. I know the military, yeah, you already know they don't fuck around, nigga. Oh hell no. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> hey, that motherfucker. Not as much like not as much as they used to, down. but they still they still hold it out there for sure. But here, here's my question. Here's my question. We're just not getting legislation on that. How long has it been since the Willie Lynch letter came out? Oh shit. Oh bro. Yeah, damn, uh, damn, dog. Plus <laughs> <laughs> Damn dog. Our shit. For those of you who don't know what the Willie Lynch letter is, uh, Willie Lynch was a uh, slaveholder in the in the Caribbean, mm -hmm. and he came up with a special set of uh, protocols for how to deal with the, the Negro problem. How to break them. Mm -hmm. How to break them. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, hey, bro, it, they've been trying to yeah, pass shit like this since the 1900s. Early 1900s. Say what now? So they say trying to get it passed. Some uh, well, some similar. The previous attempts by Congress since 1900 to pass similar legislation repeatedly failed. The Senate approved a similar version by unanimous, but damn, unanimous <laughs> consent in February 2019. But because of minor discrepancies, the Senate will need to vote on the House order for it to land on the President's desk for approval. I'm sure he'll just scribble away. I'm yeah, sure. they either have to come together and, and get a joint version of the bill or they're going to have to vote mm -hmm. on the, the House's version. Yeah. Yep. Yep. But, yep. um, yeah, man, that's, uh, mm. oh, it may not be passed because it's going to be called the Emmett Till anti-lynching bill. Why wouldn't it pass now? Because it's the Emmett Till anti-lynching bill. Dude, it had 400 some odd votes in the House. Yeah, but but it was just because of the name. It was, passed, it was passed by partisans by 400 and some odd out of 435 votes. But because the name is uh, tied All to... All right, let's, let's ignore facts. Okay, you're right, because they can tell that. That's incendiary. Okay, let's, let's do that. <laughs> nigga, it got 400 some odd votes in the house, nigga. Why the I know the how many votes the motherfucker got. Are you, are you trying to... Goddamn name hey, with the silly what I'm saying is... All right, man. here's your time. Go ahead and talk silly shit. Go ahead and talk silly I'm shit. I'm done, and I'm done. Let's go. So, so supposedly hey, the Willie Lynch letter came out 1712. If, oh, if 1712. you know, there's debate if it's a real thing or not, but well, it's, it's it's real. Well, no, I mean, there's like yeah, if if the version that we have today is what really was typed or said, that I think that's the debate. But that, I'm sure there's motherfuckers. I mean, that you can tell in the ways that they were treated slaves and how they broke us that there was a hive mind when it came to that for sure, for sure. Right. So, yep, thanks to Willie Lynch. We've been lynching niggas ever since. Until now. Hmm. <laughs> Until now. now. Ooh, what's now it's, against, it's, it's finally against the law. Let's look at this first sentence. The cardinal principle for, for making a Negro, for fear, that, for fear that our future generations may not understand the principles of breaking both of the beasts together, the nigger and the horse. We understand that short-range planning economics results in periodic economic chaos. So that to avoid turmoil in the economy requires to have breadth and depth and long, comprehensive planning. Damn. Horse and niggers, dog. Let me put horse first. <laughs> Same that, thing, that's man. That's crazy. Beast yeah, of, it is. Beast yeah. of burden, bro. Beast of burden, yeah. Accordingly, both a wild horse and a, and a wild or natured nigger is dangerous even if captured. But they will have the tendency to seek their customary freedom. How dare they? In doing so, might kill you in your sleep. These niggas trying to be free? <laughs> Can't have that, nigga. <laughs> Oh shit! I, God damn it! Some white people, nigga, you just like God damn. Y'all just some of y'all motherfuckers evil as fuck. And that was motherfucking evil, dog. That was evil as hell. Hey, you know what? It, it's only fitting in this leap year 
Yeah, we have one of the longest Black History Months every four years. <laughs> Thank you, shout out that oh. that our Black President <laughs> graces us. A lot. You know, yes. This can be overturned easily. Yeah. We it's need that happen. four years because yes. you know yes. I say it's like yeah. a tree. Four more years. Yeah. Yep. You can keep it, but it takes a while to yeah. grab root. That's right. When this grabs root, yes. they're not going to be able to destroy right. this. That's right. 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 I got to interrupt, but I got to say this because this is Black History Month. Man, you the first Black president. <laughs> Absolutely. These two step niggas just motherfuckers have was to in there, go, man. dog. They have to be destroyed, dog. They have to go. They have to go. Dime, cotton, cotton and cubic. I didn't, fucking. I didn't, I didn't, fucking. I didn't know whether to, to, to the female version of step and fidget. Fetch Nigga, it. I don't I call them know, diamond. I don't know where the meme mug or, or gig of my ass off when I heard that shit. <laughs> Nigga, I was like, these I, niggas I mixed crazy. Emotions. Should, I, should I, I be grinding my teeth? Well, or laughing at these lost niggas. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, slaves, man. dog. Some Dog's slaves. Far from, far. Diamond oh, and, 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 and silk bitches, man. Was, oh, I can't. Oh, I don't call no so nigga. So I so called them so cubic. No, 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 they no might, but they, they were there. They were present. They were present. They were present. They were sitting right next to you. They probably cheered the loudest. Oh, the yeah. one, the, I don't know if that's cubic or cotton, but one of them sitting right next to this nigga. Okay. <laughs> Shit. That's why I said, man, and, the and, mold. And it was the same picture I put in the chat where your girl Candace, she's like two seats, she three seats away, nigga. She don't look, she ain't happy. Hold on. I just, I just, I just caught that. Cubic and cotton. Cubic and cotton, dog. I'm not calling them bitches diamond and silk, dog. They nah, cubic no and cotton. Fucking cotton man. They ain't, they ain't diamond and silk. These niggas is fake ass. Cubic, <laughs> cubic and, and polyester, nigga. <laughs> cubic and polyester. <laughs> her, her friend synthetic, nigga. I don't know, nigga. I just... So I'm, I'm just trying I, to I, figure I feel, out, I feel like dog. Shine. Dude, <laughs> could you... I couldn't imagine having family members. Okay, it's one thing you go to and break bread with this nigga. Yeah. You know, via what, you know, um, what's old boy? Uh, family Feud, nigga. Uh, Stephen Harvey. Steve Harvey. It's one yeah. thing to go break bread with this nigga. You gonna catch some slack for that too. But what these niggas is doing, dog? Come on, man. Ain't no way I could have somebody in my family like uh, fucking with this nigga like that, dog. And I know I don't say nothing. Dog, that's cooning to the nth degree, dog. I'm <laughs> like, I'm like, Uncle, Uncle Fester. You sat there with your full black ass lungs and said this nigga was the first black president. <laughs> Really? Okay. Okay, nigga. Okay. Because it's black. Like, like that's gotta be some I real say you stuff the there. Black. Nigga, I don't even know the, the sunken. Pl- I don't even know what you could call it, bro. That that is some some real. Ain't enough money in the world to make me hate myself and my people to that degree to where I can get on a fucking camera and say this shit. On a world stage, nigga. On a world, on a world stage. stage. Doing Black History Month, nigga, with this nigga. Man, th- Black fucking History fucking Month. Died. Are you, bruh? Mm. That yeah. tap, that tap dancing, smiling, Uncle Fester motherfucking. Uh. Shout out to 30, besides, at 30 Pieces, as he would say, whole bloodline got to go, dog. The whole bloodline got to go. Yeah. Got yeah. to go. Definitely you got to go. It's, it's not, but hold up. It's. Go ahead. Yeah, Trump just was doing Trump. Trump was sitting in the meeting. This motherfucker. They, Trump didn't do that shit, man. Oh, no, he didn't do Trump that. didn't That's say it. But these, it's some, it's some black people. The, nigga, they responsible for this shit, nigga. Yeah, they responsible. Yeah. Donald Don and... Trump, Don Trump had the press opportunity. He called the black folks in for Black History Month. Of he called he in did. the black folks he knew that were gonna love him, but it's them motherfuckers took the extra step and decided to suck his dick in public, man. Basically. Trying to pull this picture up, dog. This bitch looking like a goddamn Patty LaBelle fucking stunt double. This motherfucker, dog. I think Patty LaBelle would be upset about that shit. Well, I'm, I'm gonna talk about the outfit she wearing, dog. It's pretty ridiculous. I can't find the picture, dog. I'll put it up in our chat group, but yeah, it, 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 it yeah, just it's just the same shit. Look dog. at that shit. Look at that shit. 
burn them. Yeah. I mean, this, you is, know where, what? this is where we at, though, dog. This is where we at. Yeah. I mean, some of these niggas got to go. We got, we, I mean, where's, where's the, the drop squad? We need drop squad, dog. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I, What'd you say? I think, um, I think this, this, I think this Black History Month just ran a little bit too long. Just ran a little bit too long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. It, it wasn't the usual uh, twenty eight days. Niggas, man. Got, niggas, got, niggas got silly with this shit. You know that's what it is. It just get just get the It will be longer than expected. Niggas got silly. That's all. I mean, it, 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 <laughs> and we should have saw it coming though. When um, you know what? We should have seen the right was on the wall. They, they fucking insulin was low. The right was on the wall when they had the Harry Tubman with the motherfucking Wakanda forever, nigga. That's what we should have oh, known. Yeah. The ship is way off course, dog. Hey, hey, for 2020, nigga, we gonna we gonna we gonna go skip skip right to March, nigga. Right to March, here on out, dog. Yeah. You see, look at this picture, dog. Look at these niggas, dog. These niggas is slaves. This is that shit that uh, Killer Mike was talking about, man. Who's sla- who's uh, uh, who has the bat? Who serves the better master? So apparently these motherfuckers. Look, 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 I, I, I can imagine. I can imagine speaking to him and saying, "Hey, you know, putting laying hands on. Hey, I, you know, you are the leader of this country. Let's pray for him, and let's uh, let's wish that you know, saying you had the wisdom and 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 um, the backing to go ahead and do what's best for this country. I can even appreciate you liking some of the things that he did as a leader." That he claims the help of African Americans. There was the reform on criminal justice. He uh-huh. claims that the uh, economy has never been better for African Americans. We're not. We're not going to mention the fact that he just drafted off of what the Obama administration has set up since the, uh, the Great Recession. We're not going to talk about that. No. We talked about it on the but show, if, though. But if, even if you believe all of that, even if you believe all of that, why would you then go the extra step of disrespecting Obama? And saying that we ain't never had no black president before, right? And you a black man? That's I mean that's that's unforgivable, man. Them niggas need to be ostracized. They need to be put out there on an the island, man. On an island, that's, dog. We need the yeah. we need the black version of Australia, nigga. Just these niggas out there in the outback fighting the world's biggest spiders, nigga. Just one of them, man. <laughs> A dingo ain't that big. in a minute because none of these old step in and fetch it motherfuckers will survive. Yeah, dog. Nah, yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, huh? Let me get. Let me go on, man. Let me. Let me go. On. And then two dirt bag bitches over there, boy. Shit. You see? You know what? I'm kind. I know Joe mad though. His girl Candace ain't even in the picture. My boot thing ain't in here. Oh, you see her arm? Yeah, we you see her arm on now. the very left. That's probably her arm right there. Yeah, That's her right arm. there. I remember that coat she, she had on. Yeah, she was, only, she was she was three doors down. Three doors down. Three doors uh, down. She was like, wait a minute. She, all she, this, was right next, she was right next to Stephen Fetch. All this coonery yeah. I done done, and motherfucking cubic and polyester get to touch you? Oh, no, nigga. <laughs> no. Mm-hmm. And then we got Pat LaBelle stunt double back here with this mm, Max Hedrum. that's a dude, dog. I don't know what that is. <laughs> she is. I'm not going to get into that on the show, but all I know is she looks fucking ridiculous, nigga. That's all I yeah, she know. Does. <laughs> <laughs> We're sorry, Patty Labelle. We know, we, we know your true feelings. She looked like she looked like if Tyler Perry shopped at Fashion Nova, nigga. That's what she looked like. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Let me stop. Let me. It, That's Medea in the younger years, man. Yeah, yeah, Madonna, <laughs> nigga. That's what it is, nigga. Yeah. All right. All right, okay. we're, supposed to, we're supposed to be having a, a short episode. Let me stop before we get down the rabbit hole. Speaking of holes, uh, Steven Spielberg, <laughs> Steven Spielberg's <laughs> porn actress daughter, jailed in Nashville. Adopted daughter, but still daughter. Uh, the porn actress daughter, director Steven Spielberg, is arrested in jail in Nashville, Tennessee, early Saturday on misdemeanor domestic violence court record show. Michaela, Ma- yeah, something. Michaela, Michaela. Michaela. Spielberg, 23, lately in the news after she launched a film career her own in Skin Flicks, was admitted to Hill Detention Center at 6.33 a.m. Wait a minute. Damn, what time she get arrested, nigga? She got... <laughs> in the morning. <laughs> First thing in the morning. Dog. Early in the morning. Wake up. Wake up doing fuckery. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Yeah. 
<laughs> Ooh, my, oh, shit. It must not be too bad. Her bell, her thousand dollar bell was already posted. So yeah, hey, she ain't do nothing. I'm trying to figure out what she did here. Right. No, she got her. She slept. Probably slept to have her fiance. Did mm -hmm. you see how old her fiance was? She's uh, 23. Her mm -hmm. fiance like 47, bro. Hmm. Hey, she on Pornhub.com. I mean, for the for the integrity of the yeah. show, y'all want me to look it up? I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we do hey, our research. We do our research. This right is here. for research. This is for research. <laughs> Let me get it. Fact checking. Oh, he's 50 get years get old. Our, His her, her uh, fiance is 50. Oh shit. Chuck Panko. He's a dart player. Nigga, what, man? I don't know Steven Spielberg disgusted. Like, you can't, okay, you out here in the videos, but you dating a 50-year-old dart player, nigga? You dating, what? Darn it. He plays darts. He plays darts, dog. This nigga play darts. Professionally. You can't, nigga, marry a bowler. At least they gonna get a little bit of, what is this? God damn. A dart player, dog. Dark game. Oh shit! So she apparently must have beat his ass or something. Um, and Kay was adopted as a child by directing his wife of twenty nine years. Wait, his wife's only twenty nine years old. Oh, wife of twenty nine years. Oh, twenty nine years. Actress man, Kate cool. Capshaw. I was like, damn, hold on. Kate Capshaw is old as fuck. Man. Yeah, I know. That's why I was confused at first. <laughs> at a young age, she was groomed and abused by predators, quote unquote, who were not in her family or the circle of her friends. She claims she struggled with alcoholism, a disease she said came close to killing her. All right. All right. Okay. See, at first, at first, when I saw the little light skinned, uh, you know what I'm saying, daughter, I was like, oh, Spielberg, like his chocolate. Mm. Got that swirl. <laughs> swirl. A little, co little coffee in his Kramer. Uh huh. No. No, that's not it. <laughs> Can't tell you. I mean, you don't know, though. You don't know. I mean. <laughs> Hey, but uh, but of course though, as only we would do. Uh, so I, I guess we talked about some some movies that. Uh, well, uh, it, I mean, it, it transpired like this. Um, James got on. Yeah. Director set us straight. Yeah. Because you know, I I just saw the article and I put it up there, and I, I really just saw the picture. Right. See, James went through and read the article, or maybe you'd seen it before, and directors mm -hmm. let us know. If that's not really his daughter, a, yep, right. He's that, adopted. That is that is adopted, and not only is she adopted, she's wild. She's out there. Mm -hmm. She getting into the porn industry, right? And which I replied, "Do work, and, son." <laughs> and, and and so what I said <laughs> was, if Spielberg's daughter is doing porn, that's this is a good damn porn movie. You can watch them shit. The fucking production value gonna be out extraordinary, <laughs> especially the special effects. The special effects gonna be off the chain, bro. So. <laughs> So, Steven, I know you're listening to us, bruh. So we, we've we taken liberty with some of the movies, some of the superb movies you already put. And then, of course, in the vein of Pornhub movies, um, they use like, this is not good times. That's not, that's not, we're not, gonna, we're not that, we're not that cheap. We're going to, um, I believe uh, Joe Jeff Gresh this with Saving Ryan's Private. <laughs> Followed by Tim Meter saying E.T., the extra testicle. <laughs> <laughs> just, just simply putting jaws. That'd be good. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not above that, nigga. I'm not above. I'm not above the second name of the movie. Hey, hey, but it worked. It worked it both does. ways. Nigga, jaws. Hey, jaws. You're gonna, you gonna be at work. <laughs> yeah, nigga, gonna be like. You seen that jaws? Y'all had that pause. Be like, which one? 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 Which <laughs> Followed again by 10 meters. Super 8 inches. That's Super 8, though, nigga. <laughs> I forgot he directed that shit. Super 8, y'all. <sighs> <And, laughs> I just finally read this for real. In the Anus Jones. <laughs> 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 That's so good. Oh my god, I'm crying, dog. 
I'm crying. I'm crying. I'll be too angry. Dog, that could be a whole. That could be a whole ass series, dog. Oh no, 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 <laughs> that in the the way he spelled it though, and the way he spelled spelled it was I N D A A N U S N D A A N U S Jones. Ooh, <laughs> it be in the Anus Jones versus Laura 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 Crotch, nigga. Yeah, in the Anus in the Anus Jones, and I'm getting some Crystal Skull. Crystal Skull. <laughs> I'm getting some Crystal Skull. There it is. There it is. Oh shit. And then okay. In, in the Anus Jones. And the last get laid, nigga. <laughs> the last get laid. <laughs> <laughs> that end ain't oh, shit. That shit got me cooking. Uh, <laughs> I'll follow up with the the BFG, Banger Four Guys. <laughs> Ten meters came back with that empire there come. <laughs> Joe, my Nord yeah. Report 2. <laughs> then, you know, you know that's going to be the... Uh, my Oh, that's <laughs> good. That's gonna be. That's gonna that's, be an bro. That's gonna be that. Be that Bang Bros, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Allegedly, I've heard that they do interracial. Allegedly. I don't know. I mean, I've heard about it. I don't know. <laughs> that AI, that artificial insemination. Insemination. <laughs> gonna be fucking the machines. Yeah, oh, fucking shit. robots and shit, nigga. <laughs> Let's see. If we see, catch come if you can. <laughs> Uh, oh, that's pretty. Ooh, 10 meters. That's good, too. That Jurassic Park. <laughs> the ASSIC. <sighs> we ain't shit. I'm we, sorry, man. We are not Woo. shit. Sorry, people. I mean, if you if you listen to us, you know we ain't shit. <laughs> we just happen to niggas be with, Look, niggas with free time is dangerous, bro. Damn. <laughs> Thank you, Al Gore, for this, this wonderful internet. You sacrifice your candidacy so we can get on here and talk this dumb shit. All right, there it is. There it is. <laughs> oh man. Oh man, that's good. I'm looking. I'm looking at his list of movies right now, though, dog. Ugh. Man, the Shitler's list, man. <laughs> Shitler's list. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, that, that, list, see, that'd be, that'd be the one to get us canceled because uh, Jewish people don't fuck around. They be, oh, hold on now. Hold Sorry, on. Jewish hold on. Hold on now. Hold on. Indiana's, in, in the Anus Jones, that was funny. Y'all, y'all, y'all had to go to the shitless list. That's not, that's not, that's not what we're doing. <laughs> <sighs> Shit. Not at all. Some things are sacred. Uh, oh, boy. Okay. All right. All right. Well, I mean, we said it was going to be a short show. Uh, hopefully we here next week. Hopefully motherfucking uh, this uh, cheap ass Mexican beer virus don't kill all of us. You know what I'm saying? Uh, which is weird, even because ain't even from Mexico. Mexico is yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah people no, acting stupid. No. People acting. No, stupid. not the Corona. The cheap ass Mexican beer. No. I know. I know. It's not. But people. People actually looked it up, and I mean, it's like yeah, people acting stupid. Hey y'all. As Joe said earlier, wash your hands. Wash your hands. That, yeah. that can pre- prevent. That prevents ninety nine percent of all the shit that we pass on to each other. Just washing your exactly. fucking hands. Exactly. You sneeze in your hand. Wash your hand. Yeah. Yeah. And if you alcohol, more than, yeah. If you alcohol your hands more than three times, it's time for soap and water. Yeah. And, and, and white people, wash your hands when you leave the bathroom, you nasty motherfucker. Nasty. Oh, shit, them nasty. Ooh. And uh, teach your nasty ass kids to do the same. I'll be watching y'all let the kids go into the bathroom all by themselves. They just shit and walk out. Shit and walk out. Don't even wipe their ass good. No. Don't even do that shit right. Just itchy. No. Oh, itchy oh, booty. Itchy ass itchy booty asses. Man. That's why the motherfuckers smell like old burnt. Burnt oh, wet man. dog, man. Because this motherfucker don't your wash got their the, ass. Your kid got the cavity creeps in his asshole and dirty hands. <laughs> <laughs> dirty hands, nigga. It's a, it's a nightmare. That nigga got the motherfucking letter people running around his ass. <laughs> oh, boy. I just got to burn the underwear. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God. Nigga said cavity creeps. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot to add this in though. Oh, did y'all? It just came out. Did you hear that the uh, NCAA is reportedly talking about no fans for March Madness? 
Yeah, I, w- uh, I was just talking to somebody because they're, they're doing something for soccer games, too. Uh, so I'm, I'm just trying to, I guess they're trying to figure out ways to conduct these sporting events and not have a lot of people come around and, and communicate these uh, diseases to each other. I don't know. That's Yeah, I hmm. meant to put it in the chat group, but it, I, I literally was like, was, I was like, you know, I do a little bullshit investing here and there. And it was like one of the things that came up and one of the things talking about people oh. losing money because they talking about no audience. Niggas like, oh no, no audience. <laughs> well, it'll it be quiet ass games, huh? It'll be some quiet ass games, man. Right? They just pumped the cheering in, nigga. I don't know. Yeah, I heard that though. That's, that's I don't know. I, I didn't even know. know. I, yeah, I didn't even hear about the. Uh, you said soccer events they were doing that. I, I didn't hear about that. Yeah. Yeah. So, so there's 60 confirmed cases across the United States, but they're talking about no fans at the basketball game. So man. the National College I Fire heard, Association. I, I can't reduce fans, but I mean, still, I, I don't. I don't. You don't still. Need yeah. So the National College Player Association is calling the NCAA to consider holding March Madness basketball tournament without an audience in order to protect players from the coronavirus. In the wake of the emerging coronavirus pandemic, the NCAA and its colleges should take precautions to protect college athletes. The group said in a statement released Saturday. Mm. Mhm. Mhm. Wow. Shit is real. I mean, yeah, I, I, I think it's like it's it's the age we live in, also where it's kind of like you, you, I think it could be bad. I don't think it's as bad as a lot of folks are hyping it to be. But if if measures aren't taken, it's it it, it could get there, I guess. But I don't I, I don't well, think we at fucking <laughs> outbreak levels of shit yet, where we got to drop a fucking a fucking bomb into the middle of the city. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but see, uh, even the flu is deadly, you know, to certain to certain populations, and that's what I understand that the well, yeah, coronavirus... The, the, the old and uh, the young. Those are always the ones who get fucked yeah, up. the old and the young. Yeah, those are always <clears> the ones who <throat> get fucked up. Yeah, it's the, basically the uh, the people with... Uh, compromised immune, immune systems. Either the, yeah, compromised immune, immune systems. Yeah, it's either and, isn't developed or it's just you're just old and trying to fight it kills you. Right. Yeah. So, which is which is bad. Don't get me wrong, but yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, it's still bad. But and I mean, I, I, I and you know, I, I, it doesn't help that the president is trying to downplay it so much because he's just more worried about fucking the stock market. I mean, it'd be right. better if he just got on TV and said, "No, it's not as bad as people want you to believe." But if if precautions are not taken, are, shit right. will get bad. Wash your hands. Fuck. <laughs> well, I mean, I feel, I feel a lot better, man, because he appointed a czar to take care of the oh, you, virus. You talking about the nigga that let the AIDS epidemic almost decimate <laughs> cities in fucking Indiana? Uh, Indiana? That nigga? Uh, you talking about that oh. one? That one? Oh, him? Mike uh, I don't know. I, I, just, I just know that, that uh, Donald, Trump, <laughs> Donald Trump during the Obama administration was very adamant that you need to put a czar yeah. in charge of these type of Ebola-like yeah. pandemics. That is that is a medical professional and qualified to do you know mm-hmm. whatever needs to be done in those situations, and I'm glad he took it very serious. So <laughs> Pence is in his role as president, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. appointing Mike Pence to do so. Man, that's uh that's that, that's very. I feel I feel I can sleep at night now. Mm-hmm. Mike uh, Pence it, because all, you know his all his, his, when, all when, his when you got Ben Carson in your administration. <laughs> But hey, dog, ben, ben Carson in your Hey, Ben Carson's a, a, a neuroscience. Uh, now, Bill, 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 He's a smart man in one field, but yeah, as far as politics go, I think he's an idiot. But the nigga is a neuro. He is a was a uh, neuroscientist, neurophysician, whatever the fuck. He did yeah, uh, neurosurgeon. Yeah, neurosurgeon. My bad. He did take conjoined twins and separate them niggas. The nigga knows medicine. I don't oh, know. Yes. I don't know why. Like Joe was saying, you have a nigga on the team. That could go out there and drop you twenty. You just said it. You just said it. You just yeah. said it. Yeah. <laughs> You have a nigga on the team, nigga. And, and Joe, and Joe, oh uh, yeah, because we talked about uh, we talked about Trump's tweets before and how they age so wonderfully. So in uh, 2014, July 31st, Donald Trump put up Ebola patient will be brought to the U.S. in a few days. Now I know for sure they're all using incompetent. Keep them out of here. U.S. cannot allow Ebola infected people back. People that go too far away places to get to help out are great, but must suffer the consequences. 
Uh, same CDC. He's talking about, I'm trying to figure out. Where's, I don't see the one where he. I saw it though. Huh? Oh, yeah. It's much easier yeah. to transmit than the CDC and government representative admitting. So here he is again, where now he's in charge. He's saying, no, 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 no. It's not easily admitted or transmitted. <sighs> yeah, he just. He's an idiot. Yeah. He's an idiot. Let me see. Oh. Oh, here he is today. Low rating fake news MSDNC Comcast. <laughs> MS, <laughs> MSDNC. MSDNC. He's so petty. <laughs> so He's such a hoe. MSDNC. I, had, I thought I thought it was a mistype. I was like, oh wait a minute, wait a minute. Y'all don't credit, man. That's funny as fuck. Hey, his tweet, his tweets be spicy as fuck. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> he is a petty. That nigga said MSDNC. That nigga, hey man, you know we do appreciate some good petty around here, man. Hey, hey, I am, I am a fan. We, we of, at the brother, we at the brothers breaking bread appreciate some good ass petty. Hey, I, I'm I'm a, I'm gonna give it up to 45 on that one, bro. Yeah, that that was <laughs> MSNBC <laughs> are doing everything possible to make the this nigga. Did, did he did he mean to spell it like this? The coronavirus. <laughs> he spelled this shit C A R O N A. Ignore that shit. Ignore that shit. Make a roll, man. Look as bad as possible, including panicking markets. If possible, likewise, they're incompetent, do nothing. Democrat comrades are all talk. That's what I don't get, though. He's in charge. Yeah. yeah. You're in charge. Well, they were saying they were saying he didn't really give a fuck about this shit until it started affecting the markets. That's what I'm yeah. saying. No, he he doesn't care about. Only he cares about is the market looking good because that's the only. He believes in running the country like a fucking business. And that's the only... If you run it like a business, the numbers over everything else is the only thing that fucking matters. Fuck your happiness. Fuck, fuck, fuck. If your mama died because you can't afford to get her a new kidney, what them numbers look like, bitch? Yeah. He runs like a, he runs like a, like, like a business. That's it. And you, it, you, it, you're absolutely right, Stork, because, uh, I mean, that's all he cares about is... How does the ratings look to him? If I mean, overall, they may look bad. Overall, the comp- the country could be looking bad. But if those numbers can reflect positivity within his uh, administration, then he has a victory. That's all I care about, bro. That's it. Anyway, so yeah, he he ain't shit. Uh, me and Carson sitting there like, hey, dog, I just, <laughs> I know I know what we could do. <laughs> <laughs> I worked in the sterile field a time or two. Let me help out, Donald. <laughs> Shut up, nigger. Well, the, the, fact that, <laughs> the fact that Ben Carson is over housing and urban development is, and this nigga's a world renowned neurosurgeon is beyond me to begin with. Like, there's not a. I thought he was a shoe in for the American uh, the American Medical Association, dog, or or at least the. Um, this is a secretary of health, isn't it? Se- yeah. Surgeon, Surgeon General, Secretary of Health, shit, one of yeah. them nigga shit. Man, one of them. Some, some. I thought he was a shoe in. Maybe because he's black and he stayed in urban housing as a child. <laughs> hey, hey, nigga, he, he know all about urban housing. You used to work yep. with poor people, ain't you? Because I'm not used to it. Uh, me and Mike ain't used to that shit. Could you go, right. yeah, get them get them situated. <laughs> we'll, we'll pick somebody uh, way less qualified to uh, to handle this job. Don't worry about well, it. Well, could I at least do education? Because, I mean, uh, I had to have an extended education to... Uh, you can read? Uh, this, this bitch barely got a bachelor's. Oh, let's not even talk about that. You can read. Right. Uh, nah, fuck that. This bitch, this bitch barely got a master's. I mean, no, she ain't got a master's. She barely got a bachelor's. We, right. And I'll, I'll just put it up so we can include it in the show notes for those who are like, well, what are you, what are you talking about? Uh, Pence's history manager, HIV crisis in Indiana under scrutiny. Now that he's overseeing the uh, coronavirus, yeah, uh, he let that shit get all out of control because he was like, just pray it away. And if you have uh, HIV or AIDS, it's probably because you're gay and I hate you. Mm-hmm. Not due to the That's fact that for you. Yeah. 
not due to the fact that it could have been possible blood contamination or anything like that. And I'll, I'll read this and we can get on. Uh, the Indiana emergency peaked during Pence's governorship when public health officials noticed the cluster of HIV and hepatitis C and hepatitis C in rural Indiana around November 2014. It was the largest outbreak of the virus in the state's history. Damn, run, nigga, run. NPR report, <laughs> reported at that time free <laughs> HIV testing had not been available in the community since a local Planned Parenthood clinic closed in 2013. And the virus had quickly spread among the people in Scott County who were using needles to inject a prescription opioid called Opana in 2017. The infection has reached 126 cases in a relatively small geographic area around January 2015, but took until March of that year for Pence to declare a public health emergency. Mm. No free, not even the basics of free testing. Took that away. Hmm. And then, like, uh, yep. I personally know a soldier who's from Indiana who uh, deployed with me. Uh, and me and him, when, when this dude got, when Pence got elected to be the czar, he hit me up because he knows, you know, we get mm. talk shit every once in a while. And he was just like, yeah, how fucked up it was and how fucked up his, how his, because uh, I don't know if he's in Scott County, but I think he was around that area. Just how mm. fucked up, just just the whole, that whole area, that whole locality is, man. Just, just, just drugs, fucking HIV. Um, people right. who are all uh, just a, a shit storm of what leads to people being fucked up. Yeah, so yeah, fuck yeah, fuck that dude. <laughs> Real talk. Well, you know, we uh, we left our country in good hands, man. Good there hands. We did. Good hands. Right. Good white Christian hands. Yes, indeed. <laughs> As I, yeah, and like you know, I'm atheist. That that was not a, 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 to jab at Christians. That's because I do not believe either of these motherfuckers are Christians, bro. No. Not the no. not Christians I know. I know my brother Joe. I know Anthony. They're Christians. Those are people I look to as far as Christians. You know what I'm saying? People right. believe in God and have faith and believe in in, in 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 just their brothers and their sisters doing well, being well, and looking out for the best. These two motherfuckers are not it, bro. They're not it. No. No. Not at all. Yeah. So fuck them. Hmm. Anyway, yeah, I guess we'll end on a sour note. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it was so sour, man, because uh, yeah, we we had we had some fun. We did have some we fun. Did. That that in that in the Anus Jones and that Jurassic Park, dog. I'm I'm gonna be laughing <laughs> for a little bit. <laughs> Saving Ryan private. Oh, uh, hey, Ryan private, dog. That artificial insemination, dog. She gonna be she gonna be fucking the machines, dog. That that machine Damn. porn. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> artificial, just a, just a, artificial insemination. Just a twenty, just a twenty-inch dick <laughs> on a on a pole. Nah, nigga, we get we get we get commented guest appearance in that one, nigga. <laughs> AI, <laughs> they just have a nigga that look like comedy. AI, with a, we can do with a, anything. They probably they probably had that teacher come in blackface and star in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. All right, man. It, it's 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 time to go. I gotta go upstairs and 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 and, and be with my family and right, y'all right, brothers man. got things to do. But I appreciate y'all getting Likewise, on this fine man. fine Sunday. Hey, this is this is fun, man. This is beautiful. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, man. Hey, never ever miss a moment of break bread. Your brother Triple V podcast, brothers breaking bread. We out. <laughs> hey, man. We, 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 we. Film would you play to see first, nigga? Huh? <laughs> Which film would you go to the theater to see first, nigga? That ain't that ain't that ain't Jones, dog. I was like, ooh, that sounds. The end ain't the end Jones. The end Jones series, that man, sounds sound good in a month. Hey, because I wanted to go. Hey, but only if they gonna play that. Da, 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 da. If they not playing that dog, I'm not. I'm not going. <laughs> oh, he started getting that. <laughs> da, 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 da. Hey, dog. Hey, now think about it, though. That E.T. might be good, too. They're going to have that glowing dick, dog. E.T. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> just be the head of his penis glowing. Hey, 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 hey. Color that ass purple, nigga. Until you do right by me. Until you do right <laughs>
I'm like, oh, this is a like. Wait a minute, this is a bondage flick. Why every, why everybody in gym suits, nigga? What is happening? <laughs> Nigga, nigga, in that fucking shave, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> With the straight razor. Oh, y'all stupid. Oh, y'all stupid, dog. Oh. Uh, I, hope, I, hope, I hope you kept recording, nigga. I, I did. Yeah. I, I, I stopped the main show, but then I kept. I, I pushed record again, so it can be separate clips. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, hey, dog, that day. I'm now I'm gonna be fucked up. If I ever hear Indiana Jones again, dog, I'm just gonna be like <laughs> just smiling. Jones. Jones. Oh shit. Oh uh, okay. Alright. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna get out of here. Alright. Alright, All right. Y'all, y'all be safe. Alright, you yep. too. Out. Out. Break bread with your brothers whenever possible.